I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to freehandle a giant desert centipede. Exploring the desert under the cover of night is often the best way to come across animals. And we have had a lot of luck filming the majority of our Sonoran Desert episodes in this fashion. Including an episode in Breaking Trail Season 1, which was titled, The Giant Desert Centipede is a Living Nightmare. They are fast, they are powerful, and they have a venomous bite that is said to be one of the most painful experiences you could ever imagine. Whenever I walk the nighttime desert, I hope to avoid these elusive predators. However, our wildlife biologist, who has absolutely no fear of centipedes, managed to find and capture one. Bad news for me, but good news for you, as this capture will allow me to face my fears when it comes to freehandling a giant desert centipede. For me, this is super crazy and super creepy, but what I'm gonna try to do right now is gently pin the centipede's head so that I can pick it up and get it close to the cameras. Oh, okay, I think I'm ready for this. Let the nightmare begin and bring in the centipede. Boom, there you go. All right, I've got his head gently pinned here. Holy mackerel. That requires more nerve than you can possibly imagine. And there it is. Oh, my hands are shaking. That is free handling the giant desert centipede. Oh my gosh, is it strong. Every single one of these pairs of legs has a little hook on it and they're digging into my fingers right now. Oh wow, I never thought that in a million years I'd be free handling a giant desert centipede. You're shaking, dude. Oh, I am definitely shaking. I don't particularly care for scorpions or soul pugids, but nothing gets my heart racing faster than a giant desert centipede. Now I know someone who has been bitten by one of these creepy crawlies, and they told me it was the worst pain that they had ever felt. I was bitten by a Gila monster on this trip, and it was pretty bad. I don't think I want to end the trip by being bitten by the giant desert centipede. <sighs> okay, now this is a voracious predator. They will go after pretty much anything here in the desert. A centipede of this size can take lizards, it can take small snakes, they will eat baby birds, and can even take things as large as rodents. Now you see, each one of these little segments on this centipede's back is like armor plating. And don't worry, I'm not hurting this centipede in any way whatsoever. This is one of the toughest creatures that we have on the planet. And I'm doing everything I can right now to just keep him under control and keep those fangs away from my fingers. Now what's really interesting about the giant desert centipede is that it has a pseudo head at its rear. Look at that, those last three segments are dark, just like the head, and the two rear appendages, which are nothing more than modified legs, look just like its antenna. So if something comes in and tries to attack this creature and goes for the back end, it's able to grip with those modified feet and then it can swing around and give whatever's attacking it one nasty bite. Wow, well that was pretty crazy. Free handling the giant desert centipede. Something I never thought I'd be able to build up the courage to do. Now that he's in my hands and pretty calmed down, I truly have a new appreciation for one of the creepiest crawlies out here in the Sonoran Desert. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, I'm gonna let him here down on this log and we're gonna get out of the Sonoran Desert. Ready? I'm sure many of you were hoping I would be bitten by this desert predator. Sorry guys. That's one painful experience that I don't think any of us would ever want to go through. However, on a lighter note, they are incredibly elusive, and your chances of ever running into one of these walking nightmares is next to none. If you think the giant desert centipede made your skin crawl, check out the time I encountered the soul pugit. And don't forget, subscribe to join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. Oh my gosh, his little mandibles are razor sharp. Oh, ew.